these are my sweet potatoes. I cut off the foliage, all the leaves. Now I'm going to go in there and start pulling out my potatoes. Yes, this is backwards. And see how my harvest goes. This is the first time I do them in a pot. Let's see. with the scoop over here just along the edge of the pot <laughs> this is so exciting unveiling of the potatoes sweet potatoes that is okay just loosening up the soil on the edges here. Okay, let's shake it up a little. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> oh, look at this. I'll give that to my chickies. Look at this. Okay, let's go. Gotta use a little muscle here. These roots are so strong. Okay. Gently, I don't wanna rub the skin the wrong way. I know they need to cure once you pull them out of the soil, so. Oh, look at this root system. <gasps> this was the seed that I used. Look at this. Wow. Okay, that one didn't get, but if you look at the seed, the seed had a lot of extra roots that came out and from every root you can eventually get a plant. Look at this. Root and look at this. All of this. Right here actually. Look at this. So cut the bottom to expose it to water. I put it in a, in a glass of water just hanging on the top of it with some toothpicks coming out and this little baby sprouted. Once this guy sprouted you let it grow a little it's bit. It's got a couple of seeds. You can actually pop them off and then reroot them. But I decided to put the whole potato, sweet potato, in the soil. Just like that. So for every piece of root that pops out, you get a potential sweet potato. This will branch off and another sweet potato will grow off of it. So, all right, let's see what else we got. Can't use that anymore. This was another one that branched off off of that. And there was a sweet potato there coming up, but never plumped up. Okay. I'm excited to see what that holds. Oh, look at this. It just didn't plump up. I believe I'm probably, um, yeah, pulling these out too soon. But like I said, this is my first attempt at the sweet potatoes adventure, so let's continue. The only way you'll learn is if you try it. So I tried it in the pot. And if this gives me good results, I'll just, and if it doesn't, I'll just try it again. Ooh. 
nice root system. Ugh, I just can't. Ugh. Look at this. How cute is that? Not plumpy enough. Hey, <laughs> hey baby. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Super exciting. I can't use the scooper because I don't want to cut the potato. So I gotta go. <gasps> Look at this. <gasps> oh, jeez. Look at Bob. Look at this. You gonna eat them? Yeah, we gotta cure them. We gotta let them sit for a little bit and then cook them. Okay. Could make sweet potato pie. What? Oh my god! Look at this. Um, not big enough, but we're gonna eat them. Wow! So exciting. Yeah, we're gonna eat you guys. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> look, there's some more in the inside. Wow, look at this one. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about eight inches long. <laughs> what? I know, I still got more to come. <gasps> look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they go so far down. This is awesome. This little guy. Yep. Look at this. Oh no, I just scratched that one. What? Ah. so happy not bad for a little pot look at this <laughs> oh my god yep super exciting I did not think that this was gonna work in this pot Look at this. Look at this. Ah, broke that one in half. Look at this one. Broke it. See? Anything else? Oh, look at these little guys. So, finally got to the bottom of the pot. This is what was left. Everything else is just, it, this pot was only um, potting mix. But when I got to the bottom, it was clay. Just turned into clay, so it was solid. The root system and the bottom was compacted like this. So probably way too many tubers to start. So next year I'll try less. So that way it's not so tight at the bottom of the pot i only had one two holes i believe nah where's the other one i know there's another one i think there's two holes in here somewhere um but i need to put a, another maybe one more hole the reason why i do it on these little stumpies is so that when it rains, at least some of the water stays in here as a, like a self-watering kind of reservoir. Because um, these pots, I really did not water, but maybe 
only at the very beginning when I was trying to get the tubers to start sprouting. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe I could keep these, but um, it doesn't matter. By the time the new season comes, it's going to be gone. The only seed that I found was this one. The other one's kind of deteriorated. Here's one. Here's two. So, yeah, this is it. This was the harvest. Here it goes. Here we go. I scratched this one with the uh, the scooper by accident. But this is it. Not bad. Not too shabby for that one is the biggest one. This is the next one that follows. And then these right here. But yeah, this is it. I'm loving it. Okay, so nice big size pot not sure what dimensions they are i'll get them later and put them up on the uh description or something but um not too bad i have another one of these that i did but i grew regular rusted potatoes in that one they didn't do so good but um i'll try them again next year try to start the season on time and um that's it go from there i hope you enjoy please like subscribe and um any ideas that you might have please um mention it in the uh, comments below and i'll speak to you soon thank you